I know myself and I know what I want. October, baby, you know what I'm on. Why I sell, baby, I'm East Lake Laurent. Hey, whoa. Once I ride a DM slider, family and friends provider, what? Yes, I'm him, that ass too slim, I need that shit a little wider, what? I'm with the O's and I'm with the Crows and I'm with the real King Spider, what? Gang too wild up, I'm too fired up, she let me fucking the lie. I would do y'all, we back out of one another banger. Alright, today I'm gonna be telling y'all my top 10 shoes that I think are like the October shoes, the Halloween shoes, the shoes that you should get for October. Now, these aren't budget friendly for real, but like they're fire shoes, like for, for real. Like I, every shoe on here is on my wish list if I don't already have the shoe. Like I love all these shoes. But let's go and get into it. Let me tell you my top 10. All right, first one, we're gonna start off with the Yeezy Boost. These right here, the 350 with that little orange right there. Bro, before I didn't like Yeezys. When they first came out, they weren't all that to me. Like, cause I guess just because they were so hyped up, I was like, yeah, nah. But as time grew and they were getting not as hype, I started to like them. It was not a big thing for me, you know? But now, look, I'm like, those are fire. Like, not all of them are fire, but like this one right here, this one's fire, for sure. And man, these are going for around 200 at the moment. I don't know, like... Like the prices differ. I'm looking at this shit on GOAT. So I don't know the for real value because you know, they be doing it by size. So, well, my size is like 232. You know, it could be more expensive, you know. N that was number 10. Now number nine, these beautiful shoes right here, Air Jordan 12s. Bro, I've always loved these shoes. I don't know what it is about them, but I don't I don't know. It's just so nice. And it has such a vibrant purple and that little bit of gold where the lace is at, bro. With the black, it just looks so fire. Like, it just looks so good to me. These going for like 200, around that area, around 200. Which, you know, some people don't want to blow 200 on some shoes. I mean, shoot, that's cool, but I've, I love these. These are, these are fire shoes for sure. All right, my number eight shoe. These are the foams, bro. These were so hyped up and that's what made me not like them. I don't know. It's just when shoes are so hyped up, I just like, it just turns me off to them. But once they like stop hyping them up so much, I was like, oh, those are nice. I don't know. It just, when people hype them up, I'm just blind to how good they look. But these right here, I love the way the color is. Like, I don't, was it metallic? I don't know the word, but it's just, I don't know, it's just pretty. Like, just gives all that prettiness. These are called eggplant. And these, these are expensive. These going from anywhere from 300 to 500. $500 is wild, I'm not gonna lie. Like, they're still fire shoes, you know? And I, they look like they'd be comfortable. Honestly, like they look like they would be some comfortable ass shoes. I don't know. I never had them. I might get them one day in the future. Okay, my next shoe. I think this is number seven. This is my seventh, top seven shoe. These are the purple skeleton. The Air Force One Low. See, I wasn't a huge fan of Air Force Ones. I was only into the white ones and the black ones. But somebody i know they just like air forces they love air forces every shoe they want air forces different kinds of air forces and so like that really like showed me more air forces you know show me more show me different kinds i didn't realize there were so many different types of air forces in the world for for like i knew there were different kinds but not that many different kinds i've seen hundreds of different types of air forces which is wild to me but these right here like I don't know if the soles glow in the dark, but if they did, that would look so fire. I'm telling you. But I just love that skeleton look. Like that's really giving Halloween vibes. It really is. Especially with that purple, it's beautiful. And these going again for like around 200. So they are a little pricey to be Air Forces. I mean, not as pricey, but they're, they're a little higher asking, which makes sense. Cause this a skeleton, it, it looks great. It, for it just looks great. Number six, these right here, these look like a basketball, no lie. But these are the Dunk Low Halloween. They they for real do look like a basketball. Like, but they look fire though. Like they give me off, either they give me off a basketball or Halloween, one or the other. Either way, it looks good. 
and I'm not a big fan of dunks but I'm really not like people really hype that up I'll get me some dunks one day but like not no time soon but it's still they fire they fire okay next we got same concept Air Force One low skeleton but they're in white now the white looks better than the purple not gonna lie but I still love the purple but these white right here it's just giving oh it's giving off that Air Force One with just like a skeleton like that's really Halloween shit like that really gives me off I will wear this shit in October like I don't think this would be a shoe that I will wear daily this is definitely a type of shoe that I will wear probably all through October for real like I will make a fit around these shoes because they're so fire and these are quite more expensive than the purple if they asking for five to seven hundred Oh, a lot of people will probably want these especially over the purple ones but it's just that's real pricey asking for these air force ones man and then i don't really like the very very bottom it's like a yellowish type jank i feel like if it was all straight white that would have looked fire but it's still a fire shoe i still fuck with it though next these slip on bands they're checkered flame man this is blood this flame they said flame this is blood I remember I almost got these shoes when I was, I had to be like a junior in high school. I almost got these shoes, but I saw another shoe I liked and I was like, okay, I'll just come back for these. Never went back for them, but it's okay. I probably wouldn't have wear them like that, but they're still fire. Like that blood coming from it, man. It just giving off what needs to get off. Like it's fire. Like this is like a year round shoe that I could see myself wearing. Like that one, that one's nice. And they asking for, bro, this is the cheapest shoe up here. 57. They asking for 57 around that area. That's the lowest I've seen so far out of all these shoes. Probably because they Vans. And I'm really just looking at like Jordans and Nikes and shit. But either way, this is a fire shoe. I hope I get this in the future. I hope I see it one day and I'm like, let me get that right now. Because I don't think I'm going to go out my way and be like, oh, I'm going to go get some Vans today. I'm literally wearing Vans. Next, we have these right here, the Travis Scott and Air Jordans. These are the Retro 4s. These, bro, these remind me of like a, first of all, the Purple's Fire. Let me just get that out of the way. But this gives off like a, what's that movie? It makes me think of the Haunted Mansion. Like the old one, but, um, I can't think of his name. I can't, he was in Dr. Drew Little. I'm pretty sure y'all know. Let me know in the comments his name because I cannot remember his name. But I'm telling you, once I see his name, I'll be like, yep, that's it. But these right here is really giving off that movie to me. I don't know why, but it's like, it's so pretty. And they're fours. It is so pretty, man. Ooh, it's just so pretty. Like, I love these shoes. Oh my gosh, I definitely got to get these. Like, without a doubt, I got to get these shoes. But then again, I'm trying to get more than just fours like my last two shoes i bought they were both fours i bought black fours the black cats and i bought them yellow ones i can't remember what the name of the yellow ones are but i, I gotta get some more shoes other than fours like, these are so fire man and i didn't find the price on these i'm sure if i look it up i'll probably put it here if i find it but i couldn't find the price on them this is my second shoe out of my top 10. i really thought these were gonna be like more pricey not gonna lie but these are the tiana taylors and the air force it just looks fire it gives off like what's that plant like the the plant that eats flies and shit it reminds me of that because of the spikes and shit and the coloring like it just looks so nice they low-key look comfortable this look really nice and these just going for about around three two like i thought these would be at least like seven because tiana taylor's on it but she kept it low but these are fire i haven't seen these in stores though i have not seen them in stores but i almost definitely caught these without a doubt okay now this one right here this is my honorable mention this is not a part of the top 10. this is just the shoe that's like nobody's gonna get this shoe unless like i don't know unless you're like a millionaire or something but these right here the dunk low the sb freddy kruegers man i remember oh my gosh who had these shoes? It was a celebrity that had these shoes. And I was like, those are the firest shoes, bro. And it's Freddy Krueger. I was really into Freddy Krueger when I was younger. Not gonna lie. I really liked Freddy Krueger when I was younger. YNW Melly, he came out with that song, Freddy Krueger. So it was just like, it was just great. But these right here, man, these were so fire to me. I don't think they sell these anymore. 
Well, I don't, I don't know if they're being sold or not, but these are going for like 55K. $55,000 for some dunks. I don't know if these are limited edition or what, but these Freddy Kruegers, they're so expensive and I do not know why. I will forever love these shoes. I doubt I will ever get these shoes, but if I did, man, I don't think I ever wear them. I put them in a safe or like on a display case. I don't know, man. It's just too expensive for me to wear just out when I mess them up. I'm gonna be so mad at myself, man. The last one on the top 10 we got here, we got the Dunk Low GS Halloween. But these dunks right here, it literally has a little uh, Halloween, uh, um, a jack-o'-lantern. Like if it didn't have the little Halloween thing, the little pumpkin, I would probably wear it regularly. But because it has the pumpkin, I would probably only wear it during spooky time, October time. And these going up for around 300 to 500. But these are the, definitely the best ones for Halloween. If you don't get any of these shoes, I would definitely get these right here, the Dunk Low Halloween. But yeah, y'all, that's gonna wrap up this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for new videos. Make sure y'all turn on your post notifications, man. I'm gonna keep these videos going. But I'm gonna see y'all next video.